Hey there fellow travelers, Jocelyn with Walter's World and today we are crossing the Irish Sea. I am at Trader Bay Inn right now in Hollyhead, Wales and we are getting up. We are going to hop on the ferry here at Hollyhead and it's about a three and a half hour crossing. I've never crossed the Irish Sea. Well I have in a plane but never like this so I'm pretty excited about it and I thought I would just show you guys how it goes. So we got up about um, 6 and had breakfast at 7 to catch um, a taxi at 7.30 because we have to be at the ferry at 8 and then the crossing is at 9 but you have to be there an hour early and taxis are kind of like gold here so um, there are very few of them so we booked our taxi the day before so if you are crossing from Hollyhead make sure you pre-book that taxi we did it yesterday and we didn't have any trouble booking um, yesterday but if you try to do it in the morning you're probably not gonna make your ferry because there's only a few all right so here we go so we got into the ferry place and we sat and we waited outside and then at 8 o'clock they open the gates and um, we show our ticket, which I have on my phone, and um, if you have big bags, you can check them. If they are carry-on size, you don't have to check them, which is really lovely. Um, they gave us tags just in case we decided to. We decided not to. Um, so we're sitting in another lounge before we, I think, board a bus and they drive us down to the water. I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. Till then, we also, I, I got the, I think it's pronounced... Huga Lounge. I don't know. It's spelled H-Y-G-G-E. You don't really care about that though. So anyway, we got like a lounge so we can like recline and stuff because we're exhausted. So I ordered a lounge ticket rather than um, like the regular. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so um, we have booked like a special lounge thing, but I'm telling you these seats, like just the regular public areas are really nice. So ours is extra quiet. I didn't know what to expect. So I wanted to get like somewhere where we could lie down because it's been kind of a long week and I knew we'd need this time to rest. But I think you could rest really well without the lounge, but if you're doing business and you need something really quiet, it's a great place to be. Also there is internet available on here, so you've got that. There's food, there's drink, there's duty free, there's like all sorts of, of stuff, like pretty much every amenity you could possibly need on a ferry. They sort of thought of everything. And I really hope you can hear this because it's windy out here and it's kind of funky. But anyway, I hope that these things are kind of going to help people who are trying to travel between UK and Ireland and back again. So this is the recline lounge. Look at these seats that are nice and cozy. It's very quiet in here. There's a coffee maker over there. And of course, the Queen's funeral is on right now. It's quite a time to be here. There's another kind of lounge down there. We're, we're underway. Only because I have sea legs do I know. Feel it moving just a bit. Oh, well, it's not open. Oh, when my kids were little, they would have loved this space with that kind of view and all this play space would have been kind of great okay so these are cabins like you can sleep in my gosh that's a really bright hallway anyway I don't have rooms to those so I'm not going there there's another movie lounge amazing. It's the same as the other side. Okay, so we've just come into port in Dublin. 
everything's good except that we went down five floors and we were supposed to only go down one. So navigating all those stairs down and then back up with a suitcase sucked because uh, foot passengers get off in one place and people with cars get off in a different place. So there's something else to know. Our crossing was maybe a little different because today was the funeral of the queen and we had moments of silence. It was really, uh, it was very moving as an American to be here with so many people um, of her commonwealth. Also, they did, there was a, a training exercise with the Irish Coast Guard. So we got to see that, which was really incredible. I got a little video of that. So, so far it's been a really great trip. Typically the price for a regular passenger is like, I think around uh, 20 pounds maybe. And then for the lounge, it's like 40 pounds, the lounge that we got. And then there are also cabins and I don't know what those costs. I'll see if I can find that number and, and look it up and uh, put that information in here too. But it's been a really great experience, a very smooth journey today. The weather was excellent. So that's the end of our crossing from Hollyhead, Wales to Dublin, Ireland. And the Irish Sea was kind to us today. It was really quiet and calm and we had a great crossing. I hope that the information in this will save you maybe a couple trips up and down all those stairs, unlike me, because I went up and down so many times unnecessarily today. Anyway, if you like this, if you have more questions about Ireland or Wales, we've got tons of great informational videos on both places and so very many more uh, all over the world. So go ahead, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, if you have hints for people crossing the Irish Sea via ferry or otherwise, put those down in the comments section below. We really appreciate your contributions to that and to the world of tribal knowledge. So bye from the port of Dublin.